Hey, Shalom, Makim. First of all, I give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. All right, double honors my apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to your true Akim that are enduring and pushing this truth to the four winds so we can see the elect. Hey, uh, I just want to do a, um, I just want to do a real quick video, man, like real, real fast, man. Hey, this truth is no joke, all right? You know, this is truth for the Akim out there that are enduring, man. You know, uh, I don't got my sword on me, but you know, eating that roll, you, you, you able to, uh, um, you know, have scriptures that come to mind when things happen or when things, uh, uh, could be in a tough situation, especially the time we're coming into, all right, of being persecuted. You know, it's going back to Luke, the 21st chapter before the war. Okay, before all these things got to happen, the true men of the Lord are going to be persecuted. Okay. And, uh, I just had a quick instant where, um, I was actually driving on my way to an interview and I got pulled over. All right. But not only did I get, uh, pulled over, I have a, and now I'm not saying it's not to be wise. You know, I just got a vehicle and the car that I got has a, um, uh, expired inspection. So, you know, through the Lord's will, I've been meaning to get that taken care of. It's not that I've been out here reckless of being wise, but, uh, just at the time, I, I don't have the adequate means to get the inspection right away. Right. So I'm on my way to an interview and immediately like five to 10 minutes down driving, I get pulled over. All right. I get pulled over by two Edomite cops and, uh, they run my plates, they check everything. And, uh, the guy comes up to me and basically asks me what's going on. And I tell him, you know, I just got the car. You know, I'm on my way to an interview and uh, I'm meaning to pay the um, pay to get the inspection. So, um, you know, we, we under the curses, man. You know, I got an expired ticket. You know, I got a slight crack in the window. You know, we under the curses, man. By the grace of the Lord, I'm even able to even have a vehicle right now, you know. And, um, hey, Salaki. And um, so uh, he goes back and he checks, uh, checks my... Uh, checks out everything, checks my insurance, everything goes well, and he comes up and goes, I'm going to give you a break this time, all right, I, I'm, I'm going to throw you a break, and uh, just get your windshield fixed, mail it in that you got it fixed, and you won't have to worry about the inspection, and you know, in the first scripture that came to mind, man, was Proverbs uh, 16 and 7, you know, not saying it verbatim, but it says, a man's, uh, if a man uh, pleases the Lord, you know, that, um, even his enemies will be at peace with him, man. And I've noticed this is this is another this is another time where I've seen that, man, because we were at camp and someone called the cops on us and they, they wanted to hem us up and they let us go, man. You know, or uh, there was another time I got pulled over, man, and uh, the cop, you know, they let me go, man. And um, that's the Lord, man. That's the spirit of the Lord, you know, and it's a beautiful thing because. These scriptures got to come to life one way or another, all right? If, if the scripture says that your enemy should be at peace with you, when the Lord's going to make that an example, man. That's why, you know, it says in uh, Corinthians that your labor's not in vain, man. This is this is a, a, a way of showing you that, uh, you know, making your uh, calling, giving diligence to make your calling assured, you know? And this is just for the Akia, man. I mean, I'm literally, right now, and I'll just show you, man. I'm at the courthouse right now, man. There's the crack windshield. All right, I'm I'm literally here, man. All right, I went in like, hey, you know, I'm, and they're like, yeah, you just pay it and you're good. All right, so this is the Lord showing you, man. So in these latter days when all calamity is going on, that's why the scriptures say, man, the heathen will envy, but ultimately it says that you will have an abundance, man. All right, when you when everyone else is starving, all right, if food is something that uh, the Most High deems that you need, all right, He's gonna provide it, man. Okay, when 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 things are going on, you're gonna you're gonna see things uh, manifest in front of you that you won't believe, man. But you gotta believe and you gotta understand that this is the Lord doing it, man. All right, and that was just a quick testimony for brothers, man. Keep pushing, man. That got me hype. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go and make a video on the spirit. So just do it now, man. Just put that out there, man. Just let people know, man. All right, you know, like we gotta keep pushing. This this truth is heavy, man. You know, I wanna say all praise and glory to how about me outside, man. All right, he could they, they could have towed my car, could have been left on the road, wouldn't have been able to, and and, and I and through the spirit, I believe I got the job, man. <laughs> you know, so this is just showing you, you know, how the Lord's gonna work, man, in your favor. All right, if you're out here with truth and sincerity, man. All right, and you know, Lord willing, this was edifying through the spirit as it was for me, you know. And I want to say all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. All right, just, let's just keep pushing, Akim. All right, we got to just keep pushing, man, because we almost out here, all right? Shalom.